Here we have a lovely 2006 Fiat Sedici in blue, starting with the offside front tyre. Easily a good 5mm of tread there. Offside front alloy, taking a good look. There's one or two little scratches and marks to the alloy, but no curbing or any scuff marks on there. Looking down the offside of the vehicles, and a good look down the bodywork. It does look very clean. I personally cannot spot any dinks or dents at all down there. Looking around the offside front arch, as you can see, there is some scratches on the front arch there. Not much you can do about that, unfortunately. Some quite deep ones as well. Driver's mirror is in nice condition. Driver's door itself, again, most of it is plastic. Um, as you can see, just one or two scratches there. It's the plastics. A couple of chips in the plastics, but not on the paint. And the paintwork itself, just one or two very little minor marks, but lovely condition. Driver's door sills are in nice condition. Got your roof bars on top. Rear passenger door, again, looks very clean. No scratches or marks. And the door edge is also very tidy. Some scratches on the rear arch plastics. And looking on the rear tyre, easily a good four to five millimetres there. Near side rear alloy again, just a couple of scratches, but again no curbing or any scuff marks at all to that alloy. And moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Looking on the back here, again just one or two scratches to the plastics. No signs of any damage at all there. All the boot lid etc looks very well. There is some scratches on the boot itself, but again just requires a good polish. Uh, a bit of a deep scratch there, you can see it's gone into the paint. Apart from that, the rest should uh, polish. A couple of touch-ins will be required on the back there as well. Take a look inside the boot. Get your parcel shelf. Lovely clean condition inside as well. And underneath you have got your spare wheel, as you can see. Moving around to the near side, looking at the near side rear tyre. Again, a good four to five millimetres of tread. Looking at the near side rear alloy. There is a bit of heavy curbing at the top there. Bit of a scuff mark around there as well, so a potential refurb, but not too bad. Looking on the near side of the vehicle, again taking a good look on the bodywork, not personally see any dinks or dents. You've got some deep scratches underneath the petrol cap there. I can get my nail into those, so just be wary of that. Some scratches around the plastics of the vehicle as well. Rear door edge is fine, a couple of scratches on the passenger door though, so a good mop and polish required there. You've got stone chips on the rear arch. Rear door itself, you've got some light scratches going down at the door. Same on the front door as well, so it will definitely require mop and polish. And as you can see, you've got some heavy scuff marks on the paint there. It's also took a bit of a, a crack in the plastic there, so just be wary of that. Front arch is fine with some scratches on the plastics and a scratch on the paintwork there, so a good mop and polish will be required. Front tyre, about 5 to 6 mil, And the near side front alloy, again, a couple of scratches but no curbing or scuff marks on this alloy. As you can see, some uh, scratches around the front arch as well on the plastics. We've ran to the front end of the vehicle. No signs of any damage whatsoever around the front. Everything appears to be in good order. And again, just one or two stone chips on the bonnet will require some paint. But a lovely looking vehicle on the exterior. Now we'll take a look at the interior itself. And it's just as nice in here as you can see. It is absolutely spotless. Uh, cloth looks very clean, uh, very tidy. No signs of any damage, and it's clearly been taken care of. Back of the seats are all lovely and clean, even the carpets are spotless as well. Looking at the front, driver's seat is immaculate, all the bolsters are great, no damage at all there, and the same with the front passenger seat. Dashboard etc is very tidy, there's no scratches or marks, steering wheel is not in bad condition for its age either. Stepping inside the vehicle itself, as you can see, you're locking wheel nut in there, so that's all good. Now we do have two sets of keys with the vehicle, as we can see located here, and again only one is an immobiliser. Now starting the uh, car up. No issues at all starting the vehicle, to start perfectly fine. 70,747 on the clock, no symbols appearing on the dash, and the car runs exactly how it should. Multifunction steering wheel there, we've got your CD and radio. No issues at all there, blows work perfectly fine. Air conditioning is on there and it does come out lovely and cold. Manual transmission on this one. Now taking a look at the documents. Looking at the V5 of the vehicle. The car's had one owner from you, so only one owner on the car. MOT certificate. Expired date here, October 16th, 2015. So it has got an MOT at all towards the end of the year. And we have got a full partial franchise service history. As you can see, first one at Fiat to 9. Fiat again at 18. Non-franchise at 27. Uh, is that 27? Looks it uh, 36 there, 44, 51, 58, and your last service there done 
at 65,000 miles. You can see, mileage wise, not that long ago done, but full service history nevertheless. There we go, guys, this is the lovely 2006 Fiat Sidici. Lovely looking car all around, um, definitely been taken care of, and it's got full service history to go with it.